bit of a question. Um, first of all, thank you so much for coming out today, guys. I really, it's really flattering to know. Yeah. You. Um, has anyone got a question? To start off. Right. Yeah. You want to walk? Oh, you're gonna walk I'm around. I'm going. I'm going to walk through, and then they will just ask Perfect. a lot of questions. And I'll just, <laughs> I'll just sit here and answer. Perfect. Done. Oh, Let's go. First question. Hi, Nate. So, in the last day. <laughs> I know, so rude, right? Just, she was going to ask the same question you were, that's all. She wanted to get the answer. Okay, sorry, yes. Um, in the last days, we discovered that Cole will have his own show. What can you say about that? So, it's kind of not really my own show, but it's, it's going to be a web series. Um, and. Uh, it's 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 cool. I'm really I, I I can't really say too much about it because I don't know how much the CW has let us talk about it because I only just finished um, shooting um, the web series. But I, I I think for the fans it'll be great because it, it it's going to give you more uh, information than you've ever got before about Cole and who he is and his relationship with his family. So I was it was really fun to shoot. I had a really great time working on it and. Um, you know, I, I think it's kind of like, it'd be nice for the fans, because I know there are a lot of people who've been sort of asking the question of, you know, what about Cole? So it was cool. Very excited. Então, gente, ele disse que não pode dizer muita coisa ainda, ele não sabe o quanto que ele pode dizer sobre isso, mas que foi super legal participar, e ele sabe que os fãs realmente gostam e correm atrás de todas as informações, então para ele foi ótimo fazer, fazer esse trabalho e... Ele está aí esperando, né? Que vai sair também, que vocês com certeza vão gostar. They're very short. They're short. They're short little things, but they're good. Short stories. É. Eu estou web series. Vocês entenderam, né? Curtinho. Hi, Nate. Hi. What do you think about Daniel Sherman, who's playing Cole in the original? I think it's, I think it's great. Um, he's he's much better looking. So that's all. Right. Uh, I actually I met Daniel. Um, I, I think probably the middle of this year. I think um, before I knew he was going to be playing me. Um, I think it's good. I, I think it's a good opportunity, you know, for him to do something with it. And, um, you know, it's, it's been really interesting, the reaction from the first episode, how some people weren't happy about it. And I, half of me was like a little bit of a smile where I was like, yeah, they still, they still like me. But, um, but I, you know, I, I really hope that people embrace what, 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 what Daniel does because at the end of the day, I just want the show to do well, you know, and I think if there's an opportunity for me to come back and continue to do some stuff, that's great. But he's got, he's got really good eyes and he's taller than me. He's quite tall, um, you know. So, yeah, no, I think it's good. I don't think it's a bad thing. I like, I like Daniel a lot. He's a really good guy. If, if I was going to give the role to anyone, I'd give it to him. Yeah. As long as Ian's not playing it. <laughs> Vocês querem que eu traduza, né? Lógico! Então calma, gente. Ele disse que gostou muito da escolha do Daniel, que ele só ficou sabendo, acho que antes do meio do ano. E que é, uma, que é ótimo dar oportunidade, realmente. E é, ele ficou meio assim, com meio sorriso no rosto, quando ele viu, né? Que... Translate. Did you say he was beautiful? You say a lot of a lot of stuff. I have I know, to I remember what you told. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. E que ele é bem mais alto que ele, que ele é bem alto e ele ficou com um sorrisinho meio assim, que ele é muito bonito e uh, acho que foi isso. <laughs> yes, I remember everything, maybe. Is is that a Brazilian thing when someone doesn't quite meet the standard? They're like, eh. <laughs> He failed. It's not nice. I know this is not the happiest topic, but um, wait, 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 wait. Let me try and guess what it is. You've lost your puppy, and you want my help to find it. That's that's not a happy topic. Okay. Tell us a little about supernatural. Ah. 
That is not a happy topic. You're yeah, absolutely you right. <laughs> no, it was fun. Like, it was, you know, we were hoping it would get picked up and become our own show. But um, unfortunately, the Supernatural fans didn't um, appreciate what they did with the pilot. Ah. I thought it was interesting. I think they tried to do too much in one episode and it got very, very confusing for an audience and I'll keep talking if you want to explain all that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Então, ele disse que acho que foi muita coisa de uma vez só no episódio e os fãs do Supernatural não gostaram tanto assim e por isso ficou meio... I am a wonder and I lie. I am a wonder and I lie. Wait, wait, ele vai continuar falando. Yeah. What I find interesting is how amazing of an actor am I when I can play an American and yeah. an English person and I'm neither of those people, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Supernatural didn't get picked up, but I was actually very happy about that because um, yeah, had it got picked up, then uh, I would never, ever, ever be able to play Cole again. And I really, really like Cole. He's a, he's a, he's, he's a really fun oh. character. He's so fun to play. He's... Um, You know, um, so I guess I can give this secret away now as long as we don't tell everybody. But next episode of Originals, um, Cole, me, will be in it. Um, yeah. And it's so much fun playing Cole. I'll let you talk. Go. Então, ele disse que foi o que aconteceu realmente com o Supernatural, que não foi, não foi escolhido, mas que na verdade ele ficou até feliz porque ele ama é, atuar no Call e ele vai estar no próximo episódio de The Originals. E, e é isso que ele realmente gostou. Né? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Next question. Aqui! Hi Nick. So my question is, we know that you work really hard you know, to share to the world the mm -hmm. ended movement. Yeah. And I want to know, know what inspired you to this, to do this, and what mean, what it means to you this movement, this project. Yeah. Um, well, I think the thing that inspired me most was um, we live in a society where. We so often are confronted with a problem or an issue in our world that's so big that we choose to ignore it and it's easier just to pretend it's not there. Um, you know, I saw like even even recently, it's, it's, it's always so interesting how we operate as a society and how we operate as people. For example, International Justice Mission is what I'm working on at the moment, which is a huge organization. You're not going to be able to remember all this, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, do you want me to stop there and then I'll keep going? What's easier for yeah, you? Yeah, you can stop there. I'll stop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> então, ele disse que realmente na sociedade que a gente vive hoje é muito fácil a gente ignorar as coisas que acontecem em nossa volta. E a gente não não está não prestando atenção. Quando ele viu é, esse movimento, The Ended Movie, movement, ele resolveu parar para analisar o que está acontecendo agora. Ele vai continuar. So, so here's the thing, right? So, all people have to do is follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook, and uh, an anonymous sponsor will donate a dollar for every single person, right? Up to $25,000. So, we're trying to get 135,000 followers on Twitter. Então ele disse que realmente precisa que as pessoas deem um like no Facebook e no Twitter nesse Ended Movement, porque os patrocinadores eles vão dar um dólar para cada like, até 25 mil dólares. Então isso vai ser realmente muito bom para o que está acontecendo com a humanidade. And what, yeah, it's awesome. But what's, what's really interesting is that it's so hard to convince people to just to click follow and a dollar will go to this organization. They don't have to do anything else. It's like that simple. They just have to click follow and it's so hard to convince people to help uh, such a worthy cause when there's people every single day that are sort of being human trafficked or or exploited you know on some level um, around the world you know here in Brazil you know it's in 161 different countries it happens in America um, and it's interesting how people just go no nah, I'm not gonna just press that to help anybody so for me it's really important that I, I was confronted with this issue and I've decided to go full force until I, you know, feel like I can do everything I can do. And I think that's really important. 
as an individual that you should just actually start doing more than just sort of witnessing in our world. Ele disse que realmente é muito difícil convencer as pessoas a apenas é, apertar um botão. É só um botão, você não vai fazer nada mais que isso e já vai estar ajudando com relação ao tráfico humano e a exploração de, de pessoas no mundo inteiro. São muitos países que estão envolvendo nisso, inclusive o Brasil, outros países aqui da América Latina também. E é difícil, as pessoas muitas vezes ignoram, por isso ele ficou muito é, é, chocado em testemunhar esse movimento e as pessoas não estão realmente fazendo assim é muito fácil você participar e ajudar é apenas um clique yes. next question aqui 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 interpretar she's asking which episode do you like the most to play in the vampire diaries <laughs> Episode that's aired, um, I, I really enjoyed, I enjoyed when I tried, when I was trying to kill uh, Jeremy the most. Yeah. I just, that whole episode I was kicking through doors and trying to kill people and it's just, it was enjoyable to do. So that was, that was probably one of the, the fun ones. But the, but the episode of Originals was really fun. But you haven't seen it yet, so I can't talk about it. Okay. Sorry. É, ele disse que o que ele mais gostou foi de matar. É, qual foi o personagem? O yeah. Jeremy. <risos> Perguntar mais ao Jeremy que ele ficava batendo nas portas e indo. E vocês entenderam? Vocês entendem tudo? Ai, meu Deus! Calma! Terrible, terrible. to know what do you think about the tattoos he made for you and what's the craziest thing a fan made for you? Oh, I think that's crazy that he did that. Yeah, it's amazing. It's flattering. It's awesome. I um, I don't, especially with the finger, Nate Buzz. That's I've never seen that. I've seen lots of take hearts, but I've never seen Nate Buzz. So you, you, that's a first. That next time I go to another convention and someone says, what's the craziest thing a fan's done for you? I'll be bringing up you. <laughs> Claim to fame. It was, it's funny, um, uh, Henrique, is that how I say your name? <laughs> Henrique. Um, I remember when I first heard that Tori and Paul separated, which is sad, but the first person I thought of was him because he has the tattoo and I was like, oh. <laughs> is he gonna keep one and get rid of another? Like, does he cross one out? If you had to just keep one and you had to get rid of one because they're separate now, what which one would you keep? Nail. <laughs> you get rid of both of them? No. Nail. You would keep them both. But let's say if you had to get rid of one, like someone said, alright, look. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, why did you stop making those videos with Lincoln the Lizard? Because uh, I used to love them. Oh, Lincoln the Lizard. <laughs> yeah, they, um, they were getting creepy. They were getting so creepy. And um, it's sad. I lost Lincoln. Um, I know, I'm so upset. Because he was. G'day, I'm Lincoln. <laughs> Um, I lost him. My my old roommate. It was actually my old roommate, and we parted ways. And I forgot to steal Lincoln um, from him, so I could keep doing that. So I lost him. I was. I have to get a puppet. I reckon. If I if I is there a puppet store in Brazil? Yes. I need to get there before I leave. I'm gonna buy a puppet. I was actually gonna invest in a Captain Jack Sparrow puppet at one point. But it was so expensive, it was like $5,000 and I couldn't justify buying it. So I said no, but I'm gonna buy another puppet. 
Lincoln's past, but we'll get someone else. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Sorry. Now you have to say all that. Gente, eu vou traduzir o, o último. Vocês querem que eu traduza? Então, ele falou muita coisa. Ele disse que ele perdeu o bichinho e aí ele teve que parar de fazer os vídeos, mas que realmente era muito engraçado. E que ele tentou comprar um do Jack Sparrow, do Capitão Jack Sparrow, mas era muito caro, 5 mil dólares. E... <risos> Por quê? <risos> Não tinha porquê comprar e aí ele tem que achar um agora no Brasil pra levar. Ah, eu vou do outro lado agora, porque eu tô muito do lado de cá. Vai, amiga. Vanessa! Vanessa! Vai, Vanessa! Oi? Hi, Vanessa! Não, gente! Yes, hey! My name is Stephanie, and I'm an actress too. Oh, awesome! Yes. And I want to know how you do to to prepare yourself mm -hmm. to the characters. How how is your uh, preparation? Well, it, it's different with every character, but um, I would consider myself. I get very. Um, the more I play a character, the more it evolves, and I get very method. Like for example, when I play Cole. On Vampire Diaries, I start speaking with an English accent, obviously, because Cole's accent is quite different to mine. Um, but I would be quite rude to people on set. Like, the director would come up to me and be like, okay, I think we want to do that. I'd be like, shut up. Now talk. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, darling. Relax. Relax, darling. Relax. But then I start playing with it. And by the end of the day, I feel like I've... Like my accent will change and I'll start. So I just, I think it, the most important thing is to start becoming the character and understanding and seeing through their world. So when I play a character, I do get a little bit crazy, like a little bit Daniel Day Lewis, if you know who he is. Probably don't. Um, Batman, like maybe like you know Christian Bale. I reckon he would get a bit crazy. Does anyone know who Christian Bale is? Yeah. Right. So he would be a bit crazy. He'd get very method. Um, but like the, the most, as, a, as advice for an actress, I think the most important thing to do is to, to really, really, really understand exactly what's happening in the scene uh, on every different level from what the other character is doing to what you're doing and, and what you want from the scene and how you see that world and the different moments that sort of pop out in your head. Thank you. No worries. Ele diz. <risos> In a nutshell, <risos> just become the character. <risos> é, fica meio louco, meio é, maluco quando tá pensando em como entrar, como entrar no personagem e tal. E que ele fica meio grosso, ficou meio grosso que é difícil para ele é, não ser o personagem no momento. E ele fica, não, eu não sou o personagem, sou. Mas que ele, no general, em general, que é no português, é, no geral, no geral, ele tem que realmente pensar como o personagem agiria em cada momento, em cada cena, para ficar uma coisa balanceada. Você entendeu a dica dele para você? Vamos para a próxima pergunta? Aqui! Aqui, 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 aqui Vanessa! Meu Deus, não é possível! Hi, Nate! Hey! Who of the Vampire Diaries and the original cast do you like the most? Who from the what, sorry? From the, the, the Vampire Diaries and the original cast do you like the most? Uh, character or actor? Actor. Like to work with? Yes. Joseph Morgan first. Yeah. Love Joseph. You out of here? Ah, oh. uh, te amo. <laughs> Don't be late for school. Get to school. Go on. Get to school. Um, got it. In the pocket. Put it in the pocket. Um, Joseph Morgan, I really love working with. He's so much fun and we have a very similar sense of humor. So uh, we're always sort of joking around on set. I really do enjoy it. And he's such a great actor. I think he's probably the strongest actor they've ever had on the show. Um, you know, both shows. He's just yeah, really committed to what he does. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Que é muito bom. Que é muito bom falar, trabalhar com ele e tal, que ele é super engraçado e é um, realmente um dos atores mais talentosos da série, é por isso que ele gosta de trabalhar com ele. What's that thing you do when you do all? Hey. Water. Water, yes. Water. Good question. I like that. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about me? Water. 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 Water my plants? Thoughts. How Thoughts. often do I water my plants? Is that the question? No, no, no. Oh, okay. What are your thoughts about in the new season in the Vampire Ah, the new season of Vampire Diaries. I think it's it's great. I think um, I th uh, from the first episodes, uh, the first episode that I saw, I feel like they've they've gone back to sort of you know like season you know two and three and, and really kind of trying to keep it simple. And I really like uh, Michael Malaki as an actor. I think he, he can't hear you, so uh, that was that was absolutely pointless. <laughs> um, so I think he's a great actor, and I think uh, I think he brings a really great energy to the show that they kind of lacked. So I think it's gonna, I think it's going to be good. <laughs> Ele disse que, que é muito legal trabalhar com o Michael Malerkey, que vocês podem... Yeah. <risos> que ele... E que foi sem sentido isso que vocês fizeram de novo. De novo vocês fizeram isso sem sentido. E que tava realmente precisando de alguém como ele no show e tal. E é, foi isso. Peraí! Peraí, deixa eu terminar a pergunta! Eu não terminei! Eu não terminei a pergunta! Peraí! Um, if you could be any superhero hero, what would you be? Oh. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> what? Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. I know men. That's awesome. Didn't I say Iron Man? No. Yeah. Uh, but I said Wol I said Wolverine. Yes. Did you, did you miss that bit? I don't know. I like his sideburns, the lamb chops that he has. I know men. That's cool, though. That's awesome. I like that. I have some questions from Twitter. Oh, really? So, yeah. Interesting. I, d I didn't get the notification. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's the question? The question is, what word describes your fans? Uh, one word? <laughs> Immeasurable. You can't measure them. They're just amazing. They, they, uh, you try and put them into a box and they explode outside the box because you don't realize how many there are and how amazing they are. And I think every time you meet your fans, you continually get um, shocked and flattered by how much they love this show. So you can't, it's hard to describe because they change and they get better and better as you go along. It's the only reason I keep, I really want to keep working on the show because of our fans, you know? It's, it's, no, but it's, it's really true. You know, you, you could do any other show and the fans wouldn't be like this. I could do NCIS Miami. And I'm not going to be able to go to Brazil and then someone's going to be like, oh, no, hey, hey. In episode 7 of NCIS Miami, you picked up a gun that was empty and you put bullets into it. What was that like? Um, 
crap question, first of all. <laughs> Put that out there. No, so I, the thing is, it's amazing how our fans are, and that's what I, I think it's incredible. It makes me want to keep working on this show just so I can continue to experience that love. Are we going to reply that to the person who asked the question in Twitter? Yeah. Because I did more than 160 characters. Yeah, I know. Was it 140? Yeah, it's 140. 140. 140. Just be like, awesome. <laughs> Great. Ah, by the way, this question is by Vittoria, the Snowbrian Lips. Just have to say that. Victoria, no brown lips. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's her name. There's a fashion tip for everybody. No brown lips, guys. Keep them red. Keep yeah. them red. So let's let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to go. I, I think I have to go. The other. Diablo, Diablo. What you most like in call? Um, he's like, he's cheeky, he's naughty, you know, uh, he likes to be the center of attention, but like to cause trouble. I like, I like, I like playing bad characters because they're so much more fun to play. Like playing someone who's a little bit emotional and always in love is just, it gets a bit boring for the actor. But when your character's evil, it's, it's fun. So I, that's what I enjoy most. Play. <risos> ele gosta de atuar como Cole, porque Cole é, tem esse, esse senso assim meio. Né? Evil. Como é que é em português? Malvado. Malvado. É, eu esqueço as palavras, gente, em português. Malvado de ser. Aqui! 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 Hey, Nate. Você I já Tchau, meninas. Depois a gente se fala. Do you like samba? Samba? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it an exercise thing? Caipirinha. The dance. Samba, yeah. It's the hip movement. Samba um pouquinho. Are you guys leaving? Okay. <laughs> Be good. Okay. Th thank you for coming. Oh, okay. Yeah, bye. But yeah, you guys go. Enjoy the hat. Enjoy it. Hey, now that you're wearing the hat, you have to endorse this for the rest of your life. End of movement. You have to support end of movement for the rest of your life. You're on. Alright. Okay, let's go. Next question, gente. Vamos. Alright. Hi, Nate. But hi. Mm, good question. Uh, <laughs> should, I, should I answer it? Or? Do it for the people that don't speak Portuguese in the room because I think they didn't get the I got the question, I understood it, but there's some people that only speak English. Over there. Ah, yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah. So, she's asking if you're not playing Cole. Which character of the Vampire well, Diaries? Don't direct it to me because I understood that. Direct ah, it to the, okay, the people okay. over here. So okay. it, they basically asked the question if you because you don't speak Portuguese, <laughs> but um, she said in Portuguese, uh, if I wasn't playing Cole, uh, what character would I play? Just so you know. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> hmm. Who would I play? I think I'd play 